Hello, welcome back to another video of Spongebob Deleted Scenes Official. Today we're going to be looking at an episode called Rip Pants, which I think all of you know because it was actually my first Spongebob episode that I've ever seen, and um, that was about seven years ago. So um, I hope that you guys also like the episode just as much as I did, and in fact it's probably one of my favorite episodes. Unfortunately, um, the episode before that called Bubble Blower does not have any deleted scenes that either exist or are known to anyone, so I will not be showing any of those. But Rip Pants is just as good of an episode, and I hope you enjoy what I have to say. So the plot of um, the episode Rip Pants was that SpongeBob is impressing Sandy. Well, not really impressing, but um, kind of being funny. And Sandy um, is laughing until Larry comes along. SpongeBob then immediately thinks of like a new stunt to impress Sandy because Sandy is being distracted by Larry now, and he finds that ripping ripping his pants is funny. So he does it constantly and constantly and constantly until he needs so much attention that he pretends to drown. And that is when um it's not funny anymore. And then he realizes that if he wants Sandy's attention, just be himself, which is um a very good lesson to have in a kids show. And um. It um, generally teaches the lesson very well and in a funny way, which is um, also why I love the episode. But um, this wasn't always the plot. And the plot originally was cut due to obvious reasons, and I'm going to tell you what that was right now. So if you know um, the beak name of SpongeBob, it is um, Goo Lagoon. But um, I think earlier in the season, it was actually called Muscle Beak. And they do a bunch of beach activities in the original plot until SpongeBob finds a treasure chest um, somewhere along the lines. I don't know how the episode got its name, Rip Pants. Maybe it wasn't called this originally, but he finds gold doubloons in the treasure chest and he buys um, everyone milkshakes at the Krusty Krab. Yeah, kind of a lame episode. So I can see why they changed it. And good thing they did because they brought us a very good song at the end of the episode, which I will play at the end of the video. So that is pretty much the only really deleted scene in the episode, because it wasn't one scene that they deleted, they literally deleted the whole episode. So, um, they actually never, like, did the animation for the original plot, but they did, um, write it down, they did work on it a lot, and then I guess they realized, like, I realized, wow, that's not that substantial for an episode, that seems like something that might come out of season 9 of Spongebob, not season 1. So, um, I don't know, that's just my opinion. You can have a different opinion on season 9, totally okay. But, um, in my personal opinion, season 9 was where Spongebob started to, um, not be very good anymore. So this was kind of a shorter, um, video than normal. But, um, still killed about 3 minutes. I'm not wearing a watch, so just an estimate. But, um, I will play you the song because I know you want to hear it, so let's do that now. Okay, so we'll start the video now. I thought that I had everybody on my side, but I went and blew it all sky high. And now she won't even spare a passing glance. All just because I ripped my pants. When Big Larry came around just to put him down. SpongeBob turned into a clown And no girl ever wants to dance With a fool who went and ripped his pants I know I shouldn't mope around, I shouldn't curse But the pain feels so much worse Cause winding up with no one is a lot less fun Than a burn from the sun Or selling your bones Wow, what a great way to end an episode and also to end this video. Um, turns out this video was not as short as I thought it would turn out to be. And um, I hope that you enjoyed learning about the original plot of this episode and how it um, came to be the episode that we know today. Um, bye. See ya.